Ever wondered about the mysteries of faith? Today, we are privileged to have Father Alex here to guide us through. Let's dive in together and most importantly, have fun. How are you, Father Alex? Hello, Christopher. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yeah, may the risen Lord be with you always. And, and also with you. Thank you, amen. So, I'm going to be asking you questions about uh, faith. Mm. And on the other side, there are good or bad questions. It actually means super random questions. Okay, oh, it can be very <laughs> random question. Okay, so are you ready for that? I'll do my best, yeah. but uh, a disclaimer, uh, not everything I say must be uh, yeah, yeah. 100% uh, taken as somebody. Uh, must, uh, must go and check also. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, I'm, so so, I'm not an expert also, la, but yeah. just a general. It's an honor to have you, Father. Thank you for taking your time out. Okay, can. All right, so the first question, who is Jesus? <laughs> you, you're asking who is Jesus to me? Or I just want you to answer this question. No matter. Okay. So, okay. of course, I don't, since you're asking a Catholic priest, yeah. you know, uh, 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 and for our faith, uh, Jesus is the Son of God. Okay. Um, as claimed by the church, you know, what makes him different in that sense? Uh, he's God, but he's also uh, considered the Son of God, uh, the Son of God, as he claims. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Father. Now we are going to move on to good or bad questions. Mm. If you had to choose a country to live in permanently, excluding Malaysia, which one would you select and why? <laughs> excluding Malaysia? Yeah. Alamak, I like Malaysia lah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like right. Malaysia. But I guess um, it has to be something closer to the kind that is in Malaysia lah. So somewhere in Southeast Asia, I think, I think any of the countries in Southeast Asia, I think is possible. Um, because of the one is the climate, the similarity of food. Um, of course, you know, uh, we, we understand the people, each other, uh, I think in some sense much better. I would say closest is where? Thailand? Thailand Singapore? Yeah, Thailand, Singapore, Philippines. Vietnam, uh, Cambodia? Yeah, Vietnam, Cambodia, right. also possible. Yeah, because I think, the, the, yeah, but I think it's nearer like Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore, I think maybe among that four. La. Okay, among that uh, four. Uh, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Which is nearer to, to us, Malaysia. La. Mm. Anything further than that, I think you have to have a, a, a larger adjustment. La. Okay. Uh, Would you live in Europe or USA permanently? Would you? Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. I mean, if you, if, if, I mean, now we're doing hypothetical. La. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that means yeah, yeah. Malaysia is, cannot be lived already. Cannot live in Malaysia. Yes, yes. Think. For uh, example, yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Europe, beautiful. Uh, uh, where, where the faith is, uh, 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 at least the, the history of the faith is so strong. The culture, okay. uh, everything. Uh, the richness of the faith can be found so, so much in Europe. Um, US, of course, is the the current, uh, uh, um, current uh, what do you call that community um, that seems to. Uh, uh, bring uh, a, a much more uh, prevalent uh, democratic uh, principles and freedom of speech and all that. Uh, so there's, there's some amount of uh, element of freedom uh, that is given uh, to people. So I would, I would, yeah, I would say it's, those two are definitely uh, places that I don't mind. Yeah. But I've never been to US, so okay. at least Europe I can say for sure, yes. Okay, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Besides Portugal, Besides where Portugal. where have you been to in Europe? <clears throat> okay, I mean the longest one would be Italy, uh, because my I, my seminary was in Italy, so I was in Rome for for about four years. Uh, okay. So so hence Italy for me is like Malaysia in Europe. Okay, it's like your your home. Yeah. So for Italy seems like the country that is like Malaysia, uh, how Malaysia is uh, in Europe it seems like that, at least for me lah. Uh, it feels like that. Other countries uh, are more like uh, uh, visited, okay. uh, like holiday or pilgrimage like that. So not really that long enough. Uh. A lot of the European countries I've been, uh, um, Hungary, France, Spain, um, Slovenia, uh, uh, Croatia, Bosnia, you name it, uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, yeah. 
So quite a number have visited, uh, but not long as long as uh, Rome or Italy. Uh, so Italy was uh, the longest. La. Denmark, Sweden, have you been? Denmark and Sweden, uh, no. Finland? No, the, no. the northern, Is that northern uh, side, the right? Scandinavian side, that one okay. I didn't go. Okay, okay. Uh, even UK, I, I was I wanted to go to Tajadi. La. Oh my god, you have not been to UK yet? Ulu Klang, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. Uh, not that UK yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. You, you'll go there one day. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, right. Maybe. Yeah. Can you share the most challenging moment from your ministry that tested your faith? As in, like, as a priest or before priest? Uh, I would say when you're a priest. Yeah. Or oh, challenging moments, uh, that's yeah. daily. Okay, can you, like, Say one that is actually significant to you. One that is significant. Uh, yeah, or most cha most challenging one. Like you can never forget about it. Oh, you know? okay. I mean, of course, the daily one. I, I just the daily one is myself. Okay. I'm the main challenge. Okay. To myself, huh? Because you know you have to live up to God's calling, okay. Jesus' calling. So that challenge is tough every every day. Um, of course, made easier because of Jesus lah. Okay. Uh, and the graces that he gives but that is the main one for me daily more than the external challenge but if you ask me for a specific uh, uh, challenge then I would say uh, uh, the condition of uh, I'm not going to say specifically uh, uh, something but the condition of Malaysia I think uh, that seems to be in uh, in some sense in the Malaysian church as well uh, not in a uh, bad or anything but because of the history of Malaysia the formation of Malaysia you know, I think that that is that is in some sense is in the in the church because you know we have uh, many languages, many ethnicities, okay. uh, many kinds of different tribes of people, and so that's a challenge because uh, you have to you have to be able to meet with them, okay. uh, bridge the community, uh, get uh, everyone to be in the same page, but they're all from different culture, different okay. background, different uh, past, different history, different understanding, different knowledge. Okay. Uh, different, uh, not different Jesus lah. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same Jesus, yeah, but yeah. you know, but it's a challenge in that sense. I think that would be the, for me, is the key challenge, the challenge of Malaysia, uh, okay. the good and the bad of the Malaysia, is in is in the church. Mm. Yeah. Interesting, powerful. Yep. So, guys, Malaysia is a multicultural country, a lot of cultures, religions, ethnic cities. So yeah, just to let you know if you don't know what is Malaysia, okay? <laughs> um, okay. Mine is Thank here. you. You can have have it. Okay. okay. Um, move on to good or bad questions. What one societal issue would you prioritize solving if given the opportunity? Just what I mentioned earlier. I think the area of unity. Huh? Area of unity. Uh, because. Malaysia is diverse. Okay. We are very well diverse. We are very strong in our diversity. Okay. That means the Chinese is strong as Chinese, the Indians are in strong as Indians, you know, okay. the Basas speaking strong as you know, so they are very strong yeah. in their unity of their own uh, uh, their own culture and their own uh, tribe and ethnicity and their own community. What is the challenge is, you know, is to bring them together, you know, to be able to bridge uh, uh, the the gaps uh, okay. between uh, uh, which has been bridged already by Christ. Okay. Uh, Christ has moved into all the the you know so you know in our church all the language groups they all believe in the same Jesus you know but to bring them all together uh, uh, that is I think is a uh, 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 is a challenge. Yeah, it's a it's a must. It's a must. It's a okay. must. You know, yes. uh, as one, one church, one communion, uh, that is must. Mm. What issue um, in this world right now that you know, <coughs> would you solve if you have the power or you have the chance? If I had the power or the chance? Uh? Yeah, what issue? Power, what kind of power? <laughs> Maybe like you have the right or I don't know, like just if you can solve one thing right now in the world, this world, mm. what would it be? Well, um, I mean, <coughs> naturally people say the poor, la, 
uh, the climate, uh, this and that. I mean, I'm in this line, uh, as in I'm a priest, because uh, our, our mission, uh, in some sense, our calling is for the salvation of souls. Okay. Uh, for the salvation okay. of souls. And uh, that is, would be the main uh, uh, mission in my head, anything. That means you can be poor, you can be rich, but are you uh, with God? Are you far away from God? Are you, do you have life beyond this life? Okay. Uh, can you, will you have life beyond this life? Powerful. Uh, is, is, is your life only up to your death? You know, so you can have all kinds of solutions and problems in the countries and in the world and in different communities. But that's only up to your death. Yes. Uh, that's up yes, to your death. Yes. Only. And so, you know, looking back from death, is, it, is there something more than death? Yeah. Is there something more than uh, a life here on earth? So that is probably the area that I will, uh, because that is, that is the calling that I think, uh, or the joyful news, okay. the good news, so to speak that is given to us, that it's not over, uh, that we don't have to be so, uh, uh, you know, uh, hopeless, uh, we don't have to be so fatalistic, okay. uh, you know, in our way of life, you know, that we can actually, you know, we can actually love um, properly, uh, in a way that is uh, uh, for the dignity of the other person, yeah. Okay. Um. How do you help individuals who lack a supportive community to nurture their faith? Well, uh, I mean, I think uh, the, the answer, uh, what I see, what I get now is like the Mother Teresa answer. Lah. You know, what is Mother Teresa answer when the reporter asks, how are you going to save the whole world, you know? So she took a baby and then, you know, feeling uh, one person at a time. So if you ask the individual, the individual must be able to uh, uh, connect with me must be able to relate with me, which means that I have to be open to the person in front of me, uh, good, bad, anything. Uh, that means I must be able to relate with the person uh, in order to really know the person, to be able to hear and listen to the person. And for me, that is, that is more what most people don't do nowadays in the world. We just want to be quick, fast, uh, give you okay. But to sit down and listen and actually uh, take in the person into your into your conversation into your life. It's not easy, um, but I, I would say that is that is the first thing. Even if they have, don't have community, because essentially you know community uh, we can enter into it. You know okay. the moment we have connected to one person or two, you know. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on to good or bad questions. Mm. Um, among air animals. Which air. is your favorite and why? What animal? Air animal like. Oh. Air animals. Okay. Birds. <laughs> yeah. Like birds. birds or <coughs> birds insects or whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's your favorite? Favorite bird. Uh? Mine, mine would be up in the air means it's birds. Lah. Birds. Uh, because oh. I, like, I like watching birds. What kind of bird? All type of birds. But I guess probably the most majestic would be eagle. Lah, kan? Eagle. Yeah. Eagle would be the Yeah. Most, I think, yeah, yeah. It's a very... Majestic, you know. Yeah. Nice to see, you know, in that sense. But of course, there are plenty of birds which are, are beautiful up in the air. Parrots. Parrots, yes, but their noise, I don't like their noise. Oh, their noise. Oh, okay. uh, I don't like the, the but noise. But the, the eagle noise. The owl. Owl. The owl is fantastic. Owl is nice. Beautiful, no sound. You imagine the white owl? It's very cute, <coughs> right? Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I just love owls. Yeah, the owl. Yeah, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll change my mind to the owl. Instead the owl, of right, instead of eagle. <laughs> I'll say eagle then. <laughs> the owl is good. Okay, yeah. interesting. <coughs> what advice do you offer to those feeling lost in their spiritual journey? journey? Yeah, I mean, those who are feeling lost, of course, the, the main, the, the thing is we can get caught up in our lostness, you know? Be okay. But it's because it's very real, uh, so it depends on where, what you are lost. You are lost about your career, your future, uh, your family, your friends, your, uh, your life, uh, you are uh, confused about what. So it depends on what are they lost about, you know, how deep it is, how, deep, how is it moving you into a, a depressive state already or not. Okay. Uh, and, and so the, the first thing must be aware is that 
all these things is moving you to yourself okay and focusing you too much to yourself uh, and okay. if it is moving you too much to yourself then you'll feel the weight as if like it's all that only and you cannot see beyond your yourself okay you know and, and, and hence the, the importance of uh, being with a friend or being with somebody outside of yourself okay yeah being moving out of yourself uh, in any form of way maybe play games or maybe go and uh, help somebody or maybe go and uh, 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 meet some people go and call somebody or you know uh, you know people and people is interaction is we are not made for to be an island la. okay uh, okay but it can make us into an island because we cage ourselves in our lostness okay you know okay because as long as we understand there are other people also around why are they not lost mm. what makes us think that uh, we are lost you know they are not lost or are they are they also feeling lost okay. so we are never alone we are never alone okay uh, we are always have somebody god always uh, uh, brings a way out okay. and so that's that's one uh, of course the more more deeper one is we must turn to god immediately Okay. Uh, we must turn to God immediately. Uh, surrender our ourself to to Jesus, you know, and uh, ask Jesus to help us out of our lostness. Because He says, "I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life." Uh, so you don't know the way, then you go and look for Jesus. Uh, Jesus will show you the way, uh, the way out of yourself, the way out of your lostness. You know, you don't know what's true uh, anymore. Then you go to Jesus, and Jesus will show you what is true. You know, because then you can remove all the lies, and you can remain in the truth with uh, with Jesus. And if you think you have no life, then ask Jesus for the life, and Jesus will open up uh, all kinds of things uh, before you in time. Okay. Uh, and so, uh, in that sense, you know, that is a much more uh, much more immediate reason for your lostness okay. to return back to Jesus. If you if you you are not lost. But because of the surrounding people giving you the bad vibe, and you feel lost, how do you how do you solve it? Uh, see, same thing also. External things, whether people or group of things, okay. or maybe you are born in a. <coughs> hold on, huh? No worries. Maybe you were born in a, a crime family. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you are you are son of a gangster or something okay. like that. You still have uh, enough of your own. Freedom and free will and uh, knowledge and conscience and everything else God has given us, in order to be able to make our own decisions, not to remain uh, in something that we feel we are lost or we are in bad. Okay. Of course, it's not easy. Okay. Uh, not easy. It's not easy. Hence, in the depth of that moment, the God aspect is okay. most important because okay. again, the way out is not oh you do one A B C D. The way out comes when Jesus takes your hand and brings you out. Okay. That's the way out. The okay. way out is when you put your hand to Jesus and let Him lead you out of any mess that you're in, any group you're in, okay. and Jesus can do it. He's powerful enough. Okay. Whether you have faith that He is powerful enough to do that, it doesn't matter. Yeah, guys. So, please focus on Jesus, right? Yep. Focus on Jesus. Okay. Um, back to the good or bad question. Mm. If given the chance, would you prefer to serve in the Marine, Air Force, or Land Army? Oh. Nice question. Yeah. <laughs> I like watching Top Gun. Nah. <laughs> Top Gun. Oh, yeah. It seems nice, though. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, with Tom Cruise and all that. Yeah. You know, I I would I would like to be in the air force. Okay. But because I got fear of heights. Okay. And, and also, you know. Okay. I doubt so I'll go there. Okay. I don't like the sea so much. Okay. Okay. You know, okay. Because I I'm scared of the sea. It's okay. Too okay. dark for me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's too big and too dark. So I'll go with the land. Land army. Oh, interesting. interesting. For me, I think that's the most safest for me. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. it's not safe like you're in the army, but you know. Yeah. 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 It's comparatively, yeah, my, yeah, my fears yeah. would be less. Yeah. 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 Mm. Okay. How can individuals determine if they are called to priesthood or religious life? And what advice do you have for those uncertain about their vocation? That's right. Again, uh, the relationship with Jesus is crucial. 
crucial um, because why the relationship with Jesus is crucial because uh, like you said we could be in a we could be in a place where we can see like no way out but that could be also in your mind okay uh, you could be trapped in your own uh, self-defeating thoughts and uh, ways of thinking or it could be really something that is external um, that is you know really uh, preventing you maybe you have uh, debts or maybe you have some other you know you're sunkot with a loan shark or something okay, okay. you know so the very many obstacles that can be around calling is Jesus calls I'm calling you uh, and I'm calling you to join this and go and do that I'm calling you so how are you going to know whether Jesus is calling hence regardless of your circumstances or things your, your relationship with Christ has to be stronger Okay. Uh, that means you have to uh, make do the work of uh, being closer to Jesus. That means you have to know His words. Uh, what did He say? What did He do? What was His story? If you don't know the story itself, how are you going to know Jesus? And then the decisions that you are making, you don't know whether it's Jesus is calling or you yourself are making decisions okay. or Jesus is not calling. Or, but the more you ex, uh, expand your energy on getting to know Jesus more closer, Jesus is already getting closer to you already. Um, because what he has said he has done with his apostle and has given to us and for us to um, uh, involve ourselves uh, really put ourselves into it is a relationship building with Christ in that relationship God may ask you to go into priesthood or not okay because uh, priesthood is a separate thing altogether priesthood is actually secondary okay. so like a big thing in terms of uh, uh, oh, you know, you have become better than the other. No, it's a it's a sense of how much I love Jesus. Okay. Uh, how much I, I I love Jesus. How much Jesus loves me. So it's a sense of uh, a loving relationship. So you want to deepen your relationship uh, with Jesus. Jesus tells you to then you do that, because you love Jesus. You will do whatever Jesus asks you to do. Okay. Uh, and so priesthood comes at the point where uh, sometimes Jesus says, "Okay, I think I want you to." Uh, follow me okay. a bit deeper here. Okay. Uh, after following him in the normal, in the normal sense, but okay. in the normal sense means you are walking with Jesus like the apostles did. Okay. Uh, like the disciples did before they were called apostles. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. So only after a while, only then, only twelve of them were asked to come follow me. We go up the mountain, okay. uh, or something like that. Uh? And then only uh, they, he chooses them. So Jesus chooses, not we choose priesthood. Okay. We don't choose uh, so priesthood religious in between. Uh, uh, okay, again it comes from that that movement. Uh, once you are much more uh, familiar with that, then only this one you can uh, tackle. But generally, all are called to marriage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> that is everybody. Okay. But from there, God can ask you. Okay, not not marriage for you. Okay. Uh, you let it go. You come with me for this. Huh? Okay. So generally like that. So is there any advice um, for those who answered about your vocation? Uh, pray uh, with your whole heart. I mean, they say when the command is love your God with all your heart, all your strength, all your soul. That means you really must go about loving um, God all, all out. Uh, and ask God to clear um, so it's in the prayer that we ask God to purify our intention purify our minds and our hearts and our, so that they can see you know we can't see we have to ask God to open our eyes open our ears uh, almost on a daily basis uh, to see you know what is my uh, what are you asking for me today you know what are you asking me to do today you know and, and that process can lead you into or well, maybe God is you know now, of course, the discernment must come from uh, one is that process. Second one is you must have somebody else that you journey with, you know, uh, the, from the community, you know, whether it's the priest itself or another spiritual director or some uh, your own family members or uh, people itself. The community itself will say, you know, hey, you have got this gift, lah. You have got that gift. So many things must fall into place. Okay, it's you like know? a puzzle. Ah, right. Ah, but it can only fall into place because you have set your heart into following Jesus regardless of you become a priest or not okay you know okay. Uh, so your service to Jesus is regardless of you are being called to priesthood okay that is the most important thing yeah. you know that means your your love for Jesus is is not con you know on this 
Now, of, of course, they can. Uh, 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 the, the church itself will decide whether you have all the other things or they will go through the test and all that you know, thing. that's much later okay. but the beginning one uh, a deepening of the prayer life deepening of your service in the community a uh, deepening of all those areas uh, in the church uh, then you will find uh, uh, much easier to see okay <coughs> Pardon? hold on for a bit let me check for a bit All right, good or bad question. Would you rather work as a fisherman in Macau or a zookeeper in Hong Kong? <laughs> <laughs> like I say, I'm not a, a sea person. Okay. Uh, as in like, I'm not very uh, uh, comfortable with it. So I'll go with the zoo. Zookeeper, okay, yeah. in Hong Kong. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been to Macau or Hong Kong? No lah, not yet. Not yet, okay. Mm. Don't know if I will ever or not, but I've seen it in the movies, lah. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Chinese, me, me too. Like I've seen the Chinese, a lot of uh, Hong movies, Kong movies yeah. and all that. Mm. It's very good. Maybe one day, one day. Maybe who knows? Yeah. Okay, going to another question. Um, I know there's a lot of politics in church, um, not just in Malaysia but in the whole world. Mm. Like you know, these politics things. It's like it can be like a thing in a church. Like for example, people are um, trying to be the leader. You know, trying to be leaders so they mm. can lead. They just mm. want to be a leader, mm. show off. Or yeah. it can be like a church organization thing. Like yeah. maybe there are like money issues or stuff. Yeah. Like in all these issues, what do you say? How? What is the way to solve it? Solve it, uh. yeah. The way to solve already been given already. So uh, first we must we must take away the illusion uh, of what we have, what we think church is. Uh, we don't understand the church as uh, as most of the time most people don't understand the church. You know, we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Okay. Yeah, one and holy uh, church. Holy, the church is holy because Jesus is holy. And Jesus is the, the nucleus of the church. Uh, and the Holy Spirit makes everybody else in the church holy. But the, uh, the Holy Spirit makes uh, all of us holy. You know, we, don't, we can't really make ourselves holy. And so our understanding of the church must be clear. You know, that we can be not holy. The church is a mix of sinners. Uh, and saints uh, so there are very few saints but the church is actually also a hospital uh, as Pope Francis would say you know, hospital for the sick uh, I've come uh, 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 to, to heal the sick uh, not, the, not the one that is physically healthy uh, to come to save sinners uh, not the one who thinks they are perfect so the church is a place for uh, 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 sinners uh, uh, sick fellas you know all including the priest the bishop everything uh, and hence there's a side of the church that is really holy um, uh, when I say the side of the church that's where you know the church is truly church because Jesus is there and Holy Spirit is there and those saints are with them but the moment uh, the moment uh, 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 we sin uh, we, we in some sense lose that holiness so to speak and we sin all of us sin uh, and so this is the reality. The reality is, we are not uh, a born uh, a saint, so to speak. We have a tendency to sin, and we will continue to have that uh, uh, the temptation uh, for it, and we fall also. And so we fall out of church and into church. Okay. Uh, as in, like we fall into sin, mm. uh, and out of sin when we return back to, to God. Jesus. Okay. And then, so the church is holy uh, when we return back to God. Uh, this and that. So politics. Now to answer the political question is because yes. of sin. Okay. Uh, everyone is sin. So everybody got different weaknesses. Okay. Uh, some have a weakness for power. Uh, some have a weakness for food. Mm -hmm. Some have a weakness for uh, 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 lust. Okay. Some have a weakness for uh, uh, fame, honor, uh, place. Uh, all this uh, will be temptation. And because we are all uh, in one big uh, uh, world where all the human persons are all there, so politics is unavoidable. 
okay. because of I mean good politics is necessary <coughs> good politics is necessary because you need to have governance okay some order you know so you have to have leaders you have to have some good politics as in like to distribute justice okay you know distribute wealth uh, uh, the poor so you need to have people who can lead and manage and this and that and that is a, uh, a way of uh, making sure you know everybody gets what they need you know and so politics is necessary in that sense. that's why we have governments and all that uh, politics is necessary uh, because we need to ensure order in the society common good is given to all you know is protected in some sense but of course bad politics you know is also there you know when when they give in when the people give in to their temptations when people give in to their sins then you have bad politics so you can't run away from that um, we can only return back to jesus and remove the bad politics and go into the good politics just pray pray not pray pray, pray. We, we have to you know work with jesus to uh, change our habits and behaviors our actions um, but prayer is necessary in order to remain with jesus yes. so that he can give us the strength to change okay uh, not easy not easy right of course not easy not easy it's a lifelong process hmm. lifelong process for some it's faster some it's slower uh, you got work to do lah hmm. yeah nice um now we are moving moving to the last good or bad question mm. okay um If you have to eat one food mm. in your whole life, what would it be? Penang fried kway teow. Huh? Really? <laughs> yeah. But proper one, the good one. The good one. Uh, oh. Penang fried kway teow. Uh, with the, oh, with the, with the lard. With, with the, yeah. Must yeah. have lard. Okay. Not the one, the, the proper one. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Guys, if you don't know what is penang fried kway teow, it's actually like a, is it called rice rose chili? I don't know, it's like rice, a, the rice noodle. Uh, yeah, it's a flat, rice flat, noodle. Yeah. Flat noodle. Uh. Yeah, it's like a fat noodle in flat, Malaysia. Flat, uh. flat, flat noodle, yeah, flat noodle. Uh. They kind of like just fry it, yeah. right? And then it's. Uh, Must have the wok hay. Eh, okay, okay. Uh, it smell. Okay. It's Malaysian food, typically, yeah. and yeah, yeah. it's in Penang. Yeah, now I'm it's thinking about it, so I'm really sad with it. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, like hungry right now? Yeah, I cannot find this kind of really penang fried kway teow. Oh, mm, yeah. but how how's the Malacan one? Malacan fried kway teow is it? I better not comment. <laughs> oh, I better not comment. Is it like better or like worse than? No lah, penang fried kway teow is. I mean, even penang also some places I think I don't know what happened, but okay lah, different. Different, right? I like. Mm. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um. So I want to thank you, Father Alex, for the amazing uh, talk for this session. Thank you for your time, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Christopher, for inviting. No problem. Mm. We might have the next talk again. Boleh. Boleh. No problem. Uh, no one problem. of these days. Uh, yeah. One of these days, maybe yeah, in Penang. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <No>. maybe. <laughs> Bad joke. Yeah. Bad joke. Okay, guys. Um, guys, uh, like, Father, like, do you mind if I like uh, put your Instagram link, whatever? Okay, so again, no problem. Okay. They, they can follow, right? Okay. Um, okay. So, what what's your username for Instagram? My name, uh, but with the F R, Father. Okay. Father Alex. F R. No, Alex U C H L V A M. Long name, like. Okay, okay. I'll put the link down in the description. Yeah, it's quite long. Yeah, if guys have any um question about faith or whatever, just uh, you guys can follow Father so that you can chat with him he'll give you the answer and I also <laughs> okay but I'll right, try yeah all right. so make sure to check it out also um this mics actually is a uh, clippable mic two mics in one core all right so it's crispy clear and i'll put the link down in the description also the the phone the camera i'm using right now galaxy z flip 3 5g okay 4k resolution clear 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 and the tripod again on link in the description it's very stable and i've put some caps either the one that i i was wearing in my episodes you know of good or bad talk make sure to check it out i, I link them down in the description and thank you so much again our father okay happy easter happy thank easter. you
Thank see you, you again. Day. See you again. And good or bad talk episode 8. See you. Peace out. Bye. God Bye. bless. Bye.